everybody. Welcome to another song of the week. Um, our song this week is Scarborough Fair, one that I think everybody will know. But uh, the important thing about choosing this song this week um, was that it fulfilled three musical criteria for me. One being what I just said, that most everybody would know it. Um, two would be that it is not in a major key. Uh, so often Western music we like, we really like those major keys. And this isn't even just in a non-major key. Um, you'll notice we'll play a lot of A minor chords in this key, uh, but it's actually called A Dorian. It's like a totally different mode of scale. That's why it sounds a little funny. If you um, remember the melody, you'll, you'll hear it doesn't quite sound like a minor scale, doesn't quite sound like a major. I'll tell you more about that uh, elsewhere for those fellow music nerds of mine. And third, it's not in standard time. It's a waltz, it's in three, four time. Again, Western music really kind of leans heavily on these major standard time songs and I wanted to find something a little different, but that was still familiar to you. So those are my criteria for this week. No big reflections. Other than that, um, I know that this is a song that a lot of people know from Simon and Garfunkel's album, um, but this song is much, 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 much older. Some believe it goes all the way back to a poem or a ballad that was first recorded by a man named Child. I think it was Francis John Child was his name. You may have heard of Child's Ballads. Um, they are not for children. They were collected by this man named Child. Um, and it was collected in, in a book of English and Scottish ballads. But people believe that it goes back much further than that. He was just the first person to write it down. And uh, that ballad was called The Elfin Knight. And the reason that they think it goes back to that particular poem ballad um, is because there is there are similar lyrics that sort of call out these different riddles, different things that the singer is asking his lover to do, uh, or or someone who would be their lover, um, uh, that are kind of impossible. I kind of think of it as the original ballad of Rumpelstiltskin, if you will. And um, it's just interesting that we continue to sing it, continue to sing all sorts of, of riddle songs. This probably being one of the most famous, I would imagine. Um, I guess we are still trying to solve the riddle after all of these years. I don't know, can you make a shirt without any seams or needlework? You can give it, give it a try. Uh, I am not gonna try today. I'm just going to sing and play the song for you. Um, if you'd like to learn it along with me, you are welcome to. Um, I host a Saturday Quarantunes Jam for all of my ukulele folks. All instruments are welcome though. Um, so feel free to join my newsletter to get all the information for that as well as a tutorial for this song both the chords and you'll hear me do some instrumental work in there um, You'll get some tutorials and materials for all of that. I'd love to have you join me Okay, without any further ado. Here's our song of the week Scarborough Fair One two three ready set go mm -hmm. Once was. 